Good afternoon everyone, welcome back to a brand new weekly vlog. Today is Saturday, I'm starting the weekly vlog on Saturday because why not? I haven't done a weekly vlog in a while now, so welcome back. I'm so excited. Today I'm going off to Primark, you can see my Primark bag right there behind me because I need to go and exchange two things. Some other stuff I'll show you because I probably won't buy enough stuff to do a haul with so I'll probably just show you what I've exchanged it with or what other items I've picked up because I'm not going with the intention of getting a lot of stuff I just need to pick up a few bits you know when you just need to get bits and bobs I should probably write myself a little list because I will forget I have a tendency to forget I need to get a bin bag you know stuff that you just forgot to get in your weekly shop that's what I need to do basically so yeah I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you are all having a good start to the new year. Happy new year. I'm sorry I didn't say happy new year to you guys. Um, yeah, but I've just been really busy to be honest. Royal, royal busy. I'm just snooping on my neighbors if you're wondering what I'm looking at. Yeah, so let us go to town. It is currently, is it three o'clock? Yeah, three o'clock. So hopefully I should only be two hours. Hopefully. I need to go to the bank, I need to do just loads of stuff you know and it's freezing it's so cold so yeah i'll catch you guys the next time i catch you i don't really plan these things out i just you know whenever i remember to pick up the camera i pick up the camera yeah, welcome to a brand new weekly vlog i hope you lot enjoy it take care and i'll catch you in the next shot i've made it to town i've just parked up now i'm about to stuff my face with this sandwich that my husband made me he made it for me for breakfast it's like got spinach eggs mushrooms feta cheese well, I don't know some other stuff but I didn't eat it because I had cornflakes as soon as I woke up I woke up at like 12 and it's now like 3 5, no 3 30 so I wasn't hungry after my cornflakes now I am and I know I'll be walking so much so I might as well eat it can you guys see There's ketchup mayo mm. Mm. He makes the best egg sandwiches ever. It's 20 to 6 and I am pooped. I've walked so much. I've been to like five different shops, including Primark. I'm so hungry. I got this smoothie for Manny because he told me to get him a smoothie, his favorite smoothie. So I did. And I'm drinking it myself because I'm thirsty. Anyway, I'm gonna have my second slice of sandwich. You know, I had first half before i'm having the second one now and then we're gonna pop off to asda because my cousin and her husband are coming tomorrow i believe and um my husband wants to make them some sort of a breakfast dish so i need to go buy some sausages bin bags eggs and oh and coffee that's it i'm back and look what the husband made Delicious chicken burger. If you watch my day in the life, you would have seen the chicken, crunchy chicken that I made. That exact same chicken is this one. I think he put it in the oven, I'm not sure. So yummy looking. I'm gonna have a knife, please. Please, I like to cut my burger in half. Who else likes to cut their burger in half to eat it? That's a very mm. obsession. It's a small burger. And my coke. No, you don't. You're gonna like what I give you. <laughs> I have some burger. So I have had my dinner and now I just got my husband to go grab the shopping. I thought I would show you guys what I picked up from Asda really quickly. I think I spent £28 altogether. So I got a pack of large eggs for tomorrow. I got this for myself because I love this. This is probably like my favourite, favourite milkshake to have. It's the Muller Fudge Brownie. I got this from Body Care in town. It's not from Asda. These two are 32p each. How cute is this? I think it's like a tea hole, tea candle holder or something like that. I'm not sure really 
but you can put anything in here really or you can just leave it as a decorative piece this was only two pounds so i decided to pick it up not sure where that's gonna go but it's gonna go somewhere i got myself a galaxy cookie crumble i'm not a big chocolate fan but galaxy hands down the best chocolate and cadbury's obviously um i got garam masala and cinnamon sticks i picked this up they've changed the packaging from the old one this was five pounds i think these were like 60 something p each not expensive at all this is usually one pound fifty for one so today it was on offer obviously that's why i got it it was <laughs> two for i don't know two for two pounds yeah instead of 150 for each this i think is about 75p this is a pound i love this this is so nice it's quickly become my favorite it's only a pound as well uh this was two pounds big bag of sweet vanilla scent tea like this was two pound 34 more than i would pay for juice but this is very nice very very nice this is four four ninety nine, i think i'm not sure but there we go and i got milk that is everything everything from asda i lied that wasn't everything from asda i picked up my like two new school trousers like it comes in a pack of two so seven pounds for one and i bought a single one for three pound fifty so they're the only two i didn't show you but they're like gray charcoal gray slim fit really nice i really like it i do like the tesco ones as well but yeah that's the only thing that's missing i think i'm going to show you guys what i got from um primark as well i do a little mini primark haul as well because it doesn't warrant a whole video you know didn't buy a lot Here are Malik's new school shoes. Oh, nice does this look. You Obviously, made fun of me I with chose them it. When I bought them trainers. Yeah, but these are ugly. Man. Why would you say that? Why would you say no, that about your son's ones. school no, shoes? I ones. Anyway, here are Malik's new school shoes. They look good, I think. Oh, and they were only fifteen pounds. Jersey bed sheets. I couldn't find the the actual set. So I just picked up the sheet and look what happened to the pillows, RIP pillows, well they're going to go in the wash anyway, but that is the smoothie, <laughs> there we go, the pillowcase is only £3.50 and I think the fitted sheets are that much, is that £8.50? I got this little thing which doesn't look fake does it? It's got like a marble effect on it and it's pink. It goes well with my downstairs toilet. Yeah. This was reduced from four pounds to 50p. So I got it for the downstairs toilet. How cute is that? So cute. This really big woven mat for the bathroom. I really like it. It looks exactly like the Ikea one I have, just darker. Can you see it's got tassels? so cute then i picked this up from primark except it wasn't 20 pounds it was reduced to ta-da 10 pounds there we go it's really soft and it's huge um i think it's a 200 by 200 but that's everything that i got today from primark there we go there's my little pieces there i'm gonna go pop them up there i'll show you guys a sec i'll turn this around but yeah that's everything i'll probably catch you guys tomorrow now because i'm tired hello everybody starting off today very very late but i have made a slow cooker dinner today so the kitchen is spotless nice and clean just a bottle that i need to pump before i leave today but i've made a slow cooker lamb stew i showed snippets of it on instagram but look it's coming along very very nicely I need to add some peas now. That is the last ingredient for me to add. I just added potatoes like, I don't know, an hour ago. And it's on high now. I've had it on low since 10.30 this morning. Wow, just look at that. 
potatoes are cooked nicely now if i added the potatoes earlier on it would have mashed by now so yeah look at that can you see the bone is just like the meat is going to be falling off the bone this smells incredible just look at that wow i don't want to get too close because i don't want my camera to steam up but how good does this look like you can see the meat that's just broken up so yeah so i'm gonna add some peas now and um i'll just leave it on there for about five minutes and turn it off i'll show you guys what i'm serving this with let's just pop this i picked up this four cheese bread i'm gonna show you guys the bag now but i got it from tesco when i picked malik up from school and he's got like four different types of cheeses red leicester mozzarella i believe cheddar yeah i'm just gonna pop the oven on as soon as hubby walks in just to warm it up because yeah we want it to be nice and crispy so it's just bread with stew today that is dinner here's the bread that i just sliced up put in the oven it's red leicester cheddar mozzarella for a soft cheesy loaf this will be so good with that I just came to my local home bargains. I didn't vlog on the way here because it's 7.45 and I dashed out of my house because I checked the time it closes and it closes at 8. So I'm here, I'll show you what I pick up. Still here guys, 20 minutes later. Look what I've got. just got back from home bargains literally just walked in and the house is dead silent so i'm guessing everybody's asleep it's currently 8 30 i spent around 20 to 30 minutes in home bargains i'm lying i was up since 7 30 <laughs> and then i went into um farm foods and i picked up a couple of stuff never tried um cabbage frozen before and i hate buying the big bulk of cabbage just like i hate buying a big bulk of lettuce because i never finish it and it goes off so frozen stuff it is for me so i can't wait to cook this i'm gonna find a recipe um love sliced mixed peppers i always buy the frozen because once again the other stuff just always goes bad on me hash brown because i've got some sausages so we can have an english breakfast maybe i'll film it for you guys if you like so all this is going to go in the freezer. Ignore what I look like. I thought I'd show you guys the stuff that I picked up for Liana in the January sales. Because I didn't do the Boxing Day sales this year. Or last year in fact. I just think a bit overrated. So I went online like a week ago. And I picked up a bunch of stuff. And I surprisingly found a lot of stuff really really cheap. Some stuff I picked it up in my local Tesco's. So I thought I'd show you guys all together. I am due to pick up a package from next but i might do that on friday because it's takeaway day it's quite far away from my house and um i want kfc so if i want kfc there's no point doing two trips so you know i'll show you guys that when i pick it up but for now whilst leanne and apps i'll show you guys this stuff because a lot of you are somehow interested in what i buy for her so why not look how massive of a packet it came in it came in one of these bags and a big box i try to um find the stuff that I made her wear like to show you guys but I couldn't find everything some stuff was in the wash so I'll show you guys what I did find so I picked this up for her it's so adorable just look at this and I got this one size bigger by the way but it still fits her with a little bit of room to grow in I think I got that in a size six to nine months and it comes with this I think it was eight pounds um, I picked this up for her as well this is so cute did this come with something? I don't think. Yeah, I think it came with tights. I'm not sure, but um, this is originally six pounds, as you can see. Um, it's got like elasticated there, but I got it for four pounds, six to nine months as well. It's quite big for her, but you know, she's growing so fast. I love this. 
I got this in a bigger size. I got it in six to nine months and it was only three pounds. And then I picked this up. This is adorable once again. Look at that. It's a really beautiful material. It comes with tights. And this was £12. I got it for £8.50. I just love it. Six to nine months. She's currently four months, by the way, if you're wondering. She's four months old now. Um, and this, oh, my favourite. I think this is one of my favourites. I just love it. Look. It's so adorable. I'm going to say adorable so many times, so please don't mind. It comes with socks. And um, this was £12 once again. I got it for eight pounds this was only a pound and that's because it's a christmas type of top but you can't really tell it's a christmas top can you inside of it it says cute snow cute <laughs> yeah this fits her perfectly it's her correct size it's four to six months i believe and it was only a pound and then the other day um when i did my a day in the life of mum of two and i found this and i oh, i just fell in love it's so gorgeous it's crushed velvet dress let me bring it close it's a beautiful beautiful pink color just look at that oh, i wish they did this in my size look at that it's got long sleeves and everything and it's got tights this is six to nine months once again and it was 10 pounds and i got it for six pound 50. such a nice material to touch so that's stuff from tesco like i said a few stuff that um i bought her from tesco i put in the wash so can't show you but that's that i'll show you quickly the stuff i got from boots in this big ass box so everything from boots cost me 21 pounds and i got a lot like i said they were mostly three pounds four pounds max this was three pounds this isn't her correct size it's the mini club Oop, mini club yeah. How cute is this? I love it. It's got like mini unicorns on it. And um, this is usually six pounds, but I got it for three pounds. So I picked up this baby grow, which is so adorable. This is so cute. How nice is this? It's got a little polar bear on it. And I love this one so much. That's three to six months. So she has to start wearing that now. This is 12 to 18 months. This is the biggest I think I got her, but it's just like floral. Um, sleep suit it looks so long wow wow so yeah showed you guys this one and last but not least from boots i'm not sure how much this is but it's got a high neck and it's got a bunny rabbit on it and it's just so adorable that is everything i picked up guys i bought her a lot of stuff and that's because she hasn't got much stuff i'm not gonna lie like each month we go through her little storage thing and we get rid of the stuff for the month before and we get the new stuff out so now she has nothing so that's when i went on a spree to buy her this stuff and it was a good timing that there was a lot of sales on because i picked up loads of stuff really cheap so yeah i tried to buy stuff a bit bigger so that you know she doesn't grow up so quick but yeah that is what i picked up for liana and as she's still asleep i'm gonna go and watch some of the sinner has anybody watched The Sinner? I know everybody's going crazy at the moment watching Bird Box. I haven't watched that yet. I want to save it for when both kids are asleep and me and Hubs have our takeaway. And we just sit down and watch a movie. It hasn't happened yet. Yeah. So when that does happen, I'll let you guys know what I think. But if you've watched Bird Box, let me know what you think. Did you like it? I know there's like mixed reviews on it. Most people say it's amazing. But other people just say they were just waiting for it to get good the entire time they were watching it but i think that's what happens when something is overhyped you know but yeah now look at this mess what am i going to do with this mess please like, look my husband's going to come and be like what on earth has happened and am i going to clean it up most likely not because i'm starving already my husband has left for the gym as soon as i came back in He'd put Liana and Malik to bed and as she's still asleep, I'm going to try and sneak in a cup of tea and some biscuits. I don't know why I'm whispering. She's not in this room, but um, I should really clean that up. I'm not going to do I really want ice cream, but don't have ice cream. I'm going to have some of these. Yep, sweet chili ones, sweet chili p 
peanut cashew from Aldi and we have that, I think. Hi everyone, good evening. I look so oily because I've just slathered loads of moisturizer on my face. But I'm off to go to, it's not a local, I was gonna say the local shopping center, but it's not local to me, it's about 20 minutes away. But that's the only one that do halal KFC. So I'm gonna go and get myself some KFC, me and the family obviously. When I say me, I mean everyone. <laughs> Um, Malik decided for his takeaway night he wants pizza because he's obsessed with pizza so that's what he's got He's just an oven one. Um, I'm gonna go get some KFC for me and hubs I just love KFC guys the burger like the Zingatar box meal burger the burger itself is so delicious If you've never tried it try it it's so good, but yeah, I'm gonna go I need to go to next and pick up some stuff I bought for Liana and then go to H&M and exchange something and that's it That's it. That's me done so I'll catch you guys later. Um, I was meaning to hit a vlog earlier, but as soon as I dropped Malik off to school, went to sleep till two o'clock, and by the time I got back, it was dark. So yeah. Anyway, I'll probably catch you guys when I get home or when I'm out and about. I need Next, and I need H&M right there. And just like that, I am done with my errands. crazy person that I am I decided we should go to B&M it's only across the road and there's also like a Matalan so I want to see what I can find in the sale if there's anything I mean it's not like I've just had a breakfast bar all day to eat and it's not like it's nearly eight o'clock I need to exercise I'm so out of breath <laughs> anyway catch you guys in a bit just finished B&M went into Matalan didn't like anything there there wasn't much of a sale sale so I picked up a few things in b and I'll show you guys when I get home but for now I'm starving it's eight o'clock it's officially eight o'clock and I'm starving but I need to go find my car and go through the KFC drive through I'm back home I literally raced home <laughs> I got the six wings each for me and my husband yes six wings each and I got these garlic sauces they're so nice this one from KFC but they charge you 30p each can you believe that last time I got it for free that was really nice this time the lady she just looks really really pissed I don't know why but yeah, I got three of those and I got a box each for me and the hubs and extra wings. There's already wings that come in here. Anyway, I'm going to show you guys what I picked up from B&M. So do you remember the beginning of the vlog where I showed you guys um, this jersey fitted sheet that I got from Primark? The grey one. I bought the pillowcase and the sheet, fitted sheet. But I couldn't find this one. It ran out. Like every time I go, I always say I'm going to buy it, but I never do. Now it was all sold out. So I picked it up in B&M. I just found it. And I was like, yes. So yeah, that's just the duvet and the pillow cases and good thing it comes with pillow cases because I have four pillows and I already bought two from Primark. I've got some butter, this is my favourite butter ever, latte, never tried it but I thought I would and um, Kit Kat, simples. How nice is our neighbour, he just came and gave this to us, I wasn't here but yeah, he came and gave this to us, bless him. But yeah, I'm gonna go and get tucked in now. By the way guys, did I mention that I only had a breakfast bar all day? I obviously told you guys I went and dropped Malik off to school, came back, slept till 2 o'clock and then had the breakfast bar with a cup of tea and nothing since then. Since 2 o'clock, I've had nothing to eat or drink. I'm looking forward to this to say the least. <laughs> I really do want to fix up my diet but after this KFC, I'll start tomorrow. I'm cooking. I'm cooking breakfast slash lunch. It's breakfast for me, lunch for my husband, and I am filming it, of course. Can you see? There's my tripod. And um, that video should be out way before this weekly vlog is out, so I will link it down below. I'll put it somewhere on the screen. It's a come cook with me Somali food edition. So it's very, very interesting to say the least. I haven't even edited that video, but it'll definitely be up before this one is. Yeah, it's an interesting one, to be honest with you guys. Yep. I am Somali, but can I cook Somali food? That is the real question. <laughs> Just watch it if you don't know what I'm talking about. Thank you so much for your constant, continuous support. I really do appreciate it. 
I got a new um, camera lens today. I ordered it yesterday and it came today. I've been really wanting to use my camera. I bought it at least six, seven months ago, if not longer. I bought the Canon 80D and I've not used it once because I really want to get good lens. I wanted to get a good lens, but now alhamdulillah, I've gotten a good lens. So I ordered it yesterday. It's, um, you know what, it's a game changer. From now on, I'm gonna try and um, when I do sit down videos, use that camera. Um, because it's a bit more profesh, you know, but I'm trying to provide good quality content for you guys So hopefully you appreciate it and you can see the quality uptake in my next few sit down videos I'm gonna be doing more fashion videos. So inshallah you guys enjoy that, but I'm cooking so ah, Just burnt myself. Gee, calm down. I'm gonna use my trusty um, Poundland um, little silicone thingies if you watch my Poundland haul you'll know i bought two of these <laughs> go watch it i will link that poundland um haul down below it's my best poundland haul yet honestly it's the best but um yeah i'm gonna carry on cooking yeah and um i'll probably catch you guys later on to make some apple crumble i thought i'd show you guys a quick recipe we've just had a lovely lasagna made by the husband honestly it was so good i think he watched my recipe <laughs> anyway so i've got granny smith apples cinnamon stick i'm gonna add in some of this brown sugar i'm gonna add in some cinnamon and ginger powder i cannot find my allspice anywhere i would have added that some white sugar just chuck it in there oh and some butter and I'm going to add half of this to here and half of it to here, which is the crumble mixture. So my crumble mixture is just one cup of flour. Can you see the flour in there? And one cup of oats. It gives it really nice texture to it rather than just using flour. And I'm going to use some butter. That's it. It's really simple and really quick and easy to make. I'm going to add in all the ingredients and then I'll get back to you a lot. I've just added the butter in there. I'm going to add in some brown sugar. I don't really measure, guys, so you decide how much or how little you want to add. What a mess. Why am I like this? Like, I always have to make a mess. Some normal granulated sugar. Yay. I'm going to add in some ginger, even though you don't have to. I'm just being extra, guys. You don't have to add the ginger. I'm gonna add cinnamon. Got a bit of caramelization going on there. Can you see? That's from the brown sugar. And some people actually put the brown sugar first and they make themselves a little caramelized. I used to do that, but I can't bother now. I just shove everything in together. And there we go. Smells lovely. I don't fully cook the apples by the way because they have to go in the oven and I don't like them mushy. So I just half cook them. So once they're half cooked, I just start to assemble everything. Whoa, there we go, that's better. I've just added the brown sugar, cinnamon, butter, and obviously the oats and flour that's already in there. This you're just gonna crumble, add more butter if you need to. Don't add butter. You know, up to you what you do, but that's it. It's that simple. Once this is cooked to my liking, I'm gonna just assemble it. That's it, it's that simple guys, it's really not hard. You just cook this, put it in a little uh, ceramic thing and then put the crumbs on top and put it in the oven. Simples. Oh, forgot to add my secret ingredients. I told you guys this earlier, didn't I? This is pecan nuts. I'm using the whole thing. Half of it is gonna go in here and the other half will go in the crumb mixture. So that's it. That's my secret ingredient because it gives it a nice crunchy texture when you're eating it. And I'm going to serve it. I'll show you guys later, but that's it. That's how you make it if you're wondering how I make my apple crumbles. So 
there's my apple crumble it's really crumbly because i really like more crumble than the apple <laughs> and here it is i've served it up for myself husband has gone to the gym while he's out there exercising working on his abs <laughs> there's me having my apple crumble it smells like a bakery in my house right now so i'm gonna go and devour this Thank you.